Hi, this is Brett with Think Small, Miss Small TV. Thank you. Welcome to my channel. Uh, you know, I started this channel because I wanted to start shooting the ARA factory match, and I figured, you know what, it'd be kind of fun to document the journey through a video, but also share it with the world for two reasons. One, you know, I, a lot of it is equipment, what equipment to use, and I made a lot of bad choices with equipment until I found out what equipment worked best. Not necessarily because equipment is going to work best for me, it's going to work best for you or your rifle, but I at least like to share the journey and let, let others make their, their own decisions, not with their pocketbook necessarily, but you know, with some sort of a, um, education going into the purchase or the making the decision. The other reason is, you know, there, there, was, there are some challenges to there. There's some good decisions to make, bad decisions to make. And, you know, I showed the, her, I showed the whole journey, the, the misery, the agony, agony, the defeat, and the victories. Hopefully by the, by the time someone gets to this video who's actually watched my videos, or at least with an understanding that, you know, I'm not a polished YouTuber or anything like this. No, look, my goal is to be, be a better shooter and help others and actually build some sort of a community of something that I enjoy to do. With that said, I've got this rifle. Oh, you want to throw in a like? Why not? That would be very helpful. I did some ammo testing in this rifle. We shot a bunch of targets. Shot for groups. We also did it on a chronograph, so I'm going to supply that data. And we did 14 rounds of mostly match ammo. And I can't remember if I said this is a CC 457 MTR 20-inch barrel. What I'll do is I'll go over the ammo details. I'll show you an image of the group, and then we'll go on to the next ammo. And by the end of the video, I'll give you an idea of which ammos I thought worked best for this rifle and ultimately which ammo I cho chose to move forward, um, possibly uh, competing in the ARA match with this. All right, SK, long range match. This is an ammo I encourage you to check out. I've only probably done a couple videos on this, but I guarantee there's gonna be some more. This is some good stuff. I know others who, who have shot this ammo have, have been somewhat impressed or impressed. So keep an eye on this ammo and the price, well actually the price seems to be skyrocketing. I bought these for about $10 a box right now. I think I've seen them as high as $14 a box and I didn't buy this that long ago. 0.29, 29 hundredths of an inch were my average of what group sizes. I did ciders, which generally I did not put into the average, which was a 10 round group. Then I shot two five round groups, and then I shot a 10 round group. Those five, two five round groups and a 10 round group were put in that average for 0.29. And I actually found, it seems like, this is what it seems like, that a lot of my 10 round groups were better than some of my five round groups. Once again, I'll show you the images of all the target, but that's basically how they'll be laid out. Ciders, 10 rounds, target, target, five round groups, and then the last target was 10 round groups. I wanted to try to get at least 30 rounds through the chronograph. All right, uh, okay, 0.29, we talked about that. Average speed of all shots of velocity is 11.02, that's feet per second. Extreme spread of 50, and a standard deviation of a high, in my opinion, 11. Here's your image. Next ammo, Ely match, 0.33, 33 hundredths of an inch, 11.42, screaming, but the extreme spread was 0.26 and the standard deviation was five. Can you believe that? Here are the groups, oops. I'll clean that up later. Okay, Ely Team. I always want to call this Teams, but it's Ely Team. 0 0.35. 11.51 was the uh, average velocity for all shots. 39 was the extreme spread, and 6 was the standard deviation. 
I like the salmon. Ten X, which probably is going to be the best ammo to shoot in this rifle, but it's got the price of eighteen dollars or probably over. 0.35 was the average group size. I want to let that really take you anyway, but 35 hundredths of an inch is sub MOA, and I'll sh I shot all these at 50 yards because I'm sure someone will end up asking. The velocity is 1135, extreme spread of 14, that's of 30 shots, 14 feet per second was the standard. Uh, or extreme spread, standard standard deviation of four. It's got potential, uh, like I said, uh, $18 plus a box. Here's your image. The Pua Center X, 0.36. Velocity, 1087, which seems like where I'd want it. The extreme spread is 57, and standard deviation of 10. Okay. I just said something interesting. I said I said the velocity of this is this 1087, which is where I want it. I got to be honest with you; it doesn't matter where I want it to be. <laughs> it really matters where this rifle wants it to be. And because the group size to this point, this is my fifth ammo, 0.36. Now 36 hundredths of an inch is still very good, but a standard deviation of 10. You know, maybe the faster ammo is the way to go. I'm going to send you a chart of this to make, I'll show you a chart of this to make it a little bit easier. At some point, I'll make it downloadable. But who cares what I want is my point to this. Check out the groups. Okay, next ammo. Pistol Match Special. This is one of my favorite ammos. It seems to be good in everything. I competed with this ammo in... 21 and I think I did pretty well with it group size 0 0.40 1105 for the velocity 56 for the uh, extreme spread 14 for standard deviation price is somewhere around ten dollars hopefully you can get it for less Oh, here's the groups. Okay, our next ammo. RDS, RWS, rifle match. 0 0.40, 11, 14, 6, 9 for extreme spread, and 15 for standard deviation. Not great, but still sub MOA. So good. But the standard deviation is, is, is high. I mean, highest, maybe. So my question to you, for those of you who think they figured out the combination of figuring out the best ammo for your rifle, please comment for us below. What are you looking at? Are you, are you looking at um, a chronograph data? Are you just looking at group size? Are you just an awesome shooter? Is your rifle just like everything it gets? Please put in the comments, let us know. Appreciate it very much. By the way, there are rifles out there that I believe can shoot just about everything well. And there are probably not shooters that can shoot every rifle very well. Equipment, ammo, does matter. All right, RWS. 50, oh, let me give you the pictures or the images of the RWS rifle match first. Sorry about that. Okay, RWS R50 SC. 0.43, again, surprising. 1109. 35 was the extreme spread, and 9 was the standard deviation. So quite a bit lower than its uh, little brother there. And I don't have a price on this. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. Go ahead and put comments below if you have anything to say about that. Oh. Elite Target. 0.44. 11. 
25, 32 is the extreme spread, and sta uh, standard deviation is 7. You know, this is absolutely good ammo, and I've shot good groups with it, but man, you'll get those flyers that will just kill you. So you, you could not, absolutely could not compete with this in your, unless you've got some great sorting scheme that you do that's successful, but I don't think you can compete with that. Again, there are some rifles that might be able to deal with, with that, um, those flyers. It is interesting, though, that the, you know, I just talked about earlier, just a second ago, you know, what, what matrix do you lo look at to find a good ammo? Well, the standard deviation is seven, which is great. You know, the group size, 0. 0.44. Okay, let's look at the group size here. La Pua. La Pua. And I'm not even saying that right, but I like to say la, la pao, la, anyway. Minus plus, 0.45, shocker. I mean, big shocker for sure. 11, uh, 10 for the velocity, 2.6 for the extreme spread, and 6 for the standard deviation. Did I just say 6? With a 0.45? Might have been the day, might have been the conditions. Maybe, maybe this would be worth retesting. Again, I'll take your comment. If you haven't liked, if you didn't like earlier, might as well take a minute and like now. Here are the groups, by the way. SK, standard plus. 0.46, 1068, putting along. 38 uh, for the extreme spread and 9 for the standard deviation. Ely, practice 100. This is good stuff. I've had great luck with this. You know, it's made on the 10X machine, but then again, this exact ammo, I'm not 100% sure that's viable. When I bought it, it was about $10 a box. This is MOA. Half an inch is what we got out of this guy. So maybe this ammo is not great for this rifle. The uh, speed was 1121. The extreme spread 61. Standard deviation of 15. Very high. Like, and I already mentioned the, the, uh, the, what I paid for. Like I said, I don't even know if you can get that ammo anymore. Here's the groups. SK, rifle match. 0.54. There are many YouTubers that say this ammo does well for them. Honestly, I have not had that experience. I don't know why, but I just have not. Let's continue on. 1182, the extreme spread of 41, standard deviation of 10, price right now somewhere around $10. SK uh, pistol match. SK pistol match. 0.84. <laughs> I did not do well with this at all. Uh, 11.54 was the uh, average speed. So this is going to be the slowest ammo for this rifle. So that may tell, you, tell us something for this rifle. Extreme spread is 69. Standard deviation at 18. I've never even, I don't think I've ever even seen that before. And the price, I don't know where I got this price of 841. But, so what did we see? We saw, you know, some difference in prices, difference in velocities. There's no rhyme or reason maybe where the velocity in the, in the extreme uh, or standard deviation match, I don't think. I'm gonna give you the, I'm gonna put this chart up that I'm looking at right here and we'll talk about it for a second. So I kind of gave in myself a grading system. If I probably give it more thought or uh, some, of, some of you more numbers folks will probably have something much better than I came up with. But I, I graded uh, every column 
that it was important to me, I graded with a plus one, a zero, or half a point. And what I and then what I can come up with is you can see the chart, the the long range match. Uh, you can see right there what it, where where I gave it, but ultimately the ammo that I'm going to be testing with is the Ely Team. Between the price of somewhere around twelve bucks, the low standard deviation of six, the group size of 0.35, and of course the velocity was on the high side but some people think the higher velocity might do better in the wind and with the standard deviation of only six you know may, maybe I should have given the in this case maybe the velocity should be a hundred so so again about these numbers especially about the velocity you know, I, pe I hear people say the velocity that they're looking for, and maybe they found out that their rifle likes that velocity the best, and typically it seems like everyone wants around 1080. I understand the reason behind that, but if this rifle shoots... Okay, I'm going to put this, this chart back up again. But the top five ammos with the highest velocity had the lowest standard deviation what should that tell us again I'm gonna move forward with the Ely team if anyone would like me to do something more with any of the other top five ammos let me know I might do that just because I enjoy shooting I enjoy sharing with that said I'll probably do a, believe it or not I'm gonna squeeze out figure out a way to squeeze out a couple more videos with this One's going to be with sorting. So I'm going to take this Ely Teams and we're going to sort it three, four, three different ways. We'll do it by rim thickness probably, the bullet length, and then we'll also do by weight. I'm still trying to figure out this sorting thing, so I figured, you know what, let's, let's, let's continue on. So we'll go ahead and do that through this rifle. And then actually may, maybe my last, well actually I did, I did a video, I just need to edit it with shooting the Ely team. And so that will be actually hopefully coming out tomorrow or Wednesday. We'll see how it goes. Again, thank you very much. Again, if you haven't liked, please like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And God bless. Godspeed.